Are there are there ways as a receiver that you will, while the ball's in the air, try to draw a little bit of pass interference penalty and draw contact? And that type of thing? The only way the, the I see when the ball's in there, I have to go get it. You know, regardless whether it's inside, outside, high, low, it doesn't matter. And um, you know, I have to get around the cornerback to get the ball. And then if I get the call, then I get the call. But I have to make the catch regardless. And today I did make a couple of the catches, but the, I was fortunate to get the calls. But going into, I don't like try to get the thing I'm saying I don't go for the passing interference. I'm trying to get for the ball every single time. And uh, that's that's the goal every, every time. Is there talk, though, when it is getting called as much as it was today mm -hmm. of to continue to force that issue and try to force that call even if you don't come down with the catch? Yeah, today, since they were calling a lot, I mean, I don't know. It, for us, it was just try to go win on a one-on-one -on -one matchup and go get the ball regardless, like I said before, you know. Doesn't matter what's happened. Doesn't matter if he's holding you. Doesn't matter if he's jumping on top of you. You have to get around him and get the ball. So uh, that was our main focus today, and you know we were fortunate the rest were calling those and seeing those because you know they were they were they were all over us today. But regardless of what happens, we have to go get it. You know that's, that's the only job we really have. Gotcha. When did you start feeling real comfortable? Mm -hmm. Was it like day one when you got here? How long no. did it take you to kind of feel comfortable? You thought maybe you could get in the mix. Um, I think throughout spring ball when you make a one play here, one play there, and then as it starts getting more and more consistent at the, towards the end of spring ball, and then uh, summer was really helpful to be able to go out there every day and play, you know, seven on with the guys. And that was probably when my confidence built up. And then in camp, when like, every day you could consistently make plays, that's when I started to get more comfortable on the field and understanding the offense more and understanding like where I fit into the offense. And um, yeah, so I would say definitely like towards the, the middle of camp. When did you sort of occur to you how you could use your frame and length, whether it was in like high school or middle mm -hmm. school or whatever, to really be effective that way? Yeah, I think I figured that out my junior or senior year, you know, when I was, when all the corners were 5'10", I was like, I just jumped over, you know, it's just so easy to just jump over. And then now, it, of course, the corners are so much better and they're so much more physical, so much better. But I still have to do what I was recruited to come here for, you know, jump, catch balls and make plays.